This stage two here introduces maximal like, acceleration in the concentric phase uh, with a pause and medium to fast eccentric loading. So the first tempo here is an M lowering in a slow tempo, a four second pause, and then maximal acceleration on the way up. Why this tempo? The reason we want to go into the concentric in the first place is that when you maximally accelerate, you engage more motor units and thus create a stronger training stimuli. The reason for the pause is to allow the client to check that he or she is in the right position in the bottom. The reason for the fairly medium tempo on the way down is that eccentric momentum, so the combination of your mass and your velocity when you have to decelerate and re-accelerate that, that's really high forces on the tissue. So we want to build into that gradually. So we see on the next tempo here that I'm going to increase the eccentric tempo to what we call I for increasing. So I'm going to start relatively slow and then drop down and then still have the four second pause. Look like this. Big new thing in this video is that I tempo with an increasing tempo. The last variation on this stage is now shortening the pause to one or two seconds. Like I showed on the uh, previous stage, when I want to essentially count a pause for a specific number of seconds, I use short breaths. So instead of basically counting seconds, you just count breaths. So I'm going to show a, a two second pause in the bottom, still with the I. literally just a shorter pause. What you'll see in the next video is that we're going to take the pause away and keep working with the speed both on the way down and on the way up to reach the end goal of this progression.